I left the father of my kids and I went to live in a shelter. It was very scary. I'm walking on the street with my two kids and a diaper bag. You cannot leave because this person tells you that when you go out there, you're gonna suffer. We lived in a van for a whole month. It was a life or death situation. I don't even know how I made it through that season in my life. I grew up in and around different kinds of abuse, and I committed my life to ending gender-based violence. When we say, why doesn't a survivor just leave, we're missing the economic devastation. I had this idea. Survivors would make incredible entrepreneurs. We worked with survivors to start their own businesses, and I thought, let's open a store selling their products. Survivor-owned, survivor-led. Part of my purpose is to help to balance out all of the harm that's created by the systems that we live within. We want to save survivors so that we can end the cycle of poverty. I need to be able to create something. I'm the first in my family to run a business. If it wasn't for this job, I would not be able to make it on my own. I want to be able to create year-round work for our seasonal employees, but if we don't meet our goal this year, we can't grow. And for us, growth is about safety. I know we're gonna make it. We just need to push. And we're almost there. It's gonna take everything we've got. I have to go through this again a thousand times. I would choose every single one of you. Even though you don't believe it, there's life on the other side of this. As long as you're breathing, you're a fighter. You'll be able to survive.